Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Kenny the Star Maker Bowen, and this is not AM Bowen. This isn't brunch with Bowen. This is our regular same old shitty show that we do every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally on Saturdays. It's so shitty that I didn't even take the time to shave today. I didn't take, yeah, I know I'm letting myself go like Hazelwood, but that's a whole nother story. I haven't washed my hair today. I've been laying car, I've been getting laid today. Been laying carpet. Not eating any carpet, just just laying it. And it's been a busy day. And now the way the living room is designed, you can hardly see any of my hard work today. So fuck it. Uh, but it looks like other people other than myself have been hard at work today. So what I need to do, first of all, is bring in my tag team partner and, and my regular co-host, who for some reason I haven't got rid of yet. I don't know why. Maybe because he donates more than all of you combined. All right, except for the tea maker, but other than that. So um, let me see. We got the comments right up here, and yeah, let's bring him in. Beautiful hey, Bobby Hazelwood. Beautiful Bobby Hazelwood. Let me. I get thought your TV was on. gone with my blue block. It looked whited out. I thought, I thought that's because I was it. doing something here. There we go. Let's get my. What are you doing over there? That's playing a little bit of MLB the show, and yeah, yeah, you've been playing a lot of that. Don't you have a job? I do. So I don't have that luxury. I got like nine jobs. Yeah, I know. But it's because you're the hardest working man in America. Hardest working man in America. The hardest working at not working. The hardest working man in America. Speaking of hard, hard, hard working, I see the, uh, I come in here prepared to see one thing. I've been sending the sponsors the screenshot. And then Popeyes uh, called me today and said, well, we're, we're the biggest sponsor. We want the biggest logo. I said, well, it don't work that way. And, uh, but then again, you know, now, now it's a big four way dog fight there. It is. Sponsor. I thought we would yeah. give our sponsors some, some the notoriety, uh, a little bit of love there at the bottom. Well, that looks real good. That looks real good. We have the Bear Nose, the main event, who's back with us. Bear Nose, our brand new sponsor. Uh, we fine tuned the details on Monday afternoon, uh, but they were thrilled with what we've done for them so far. We've been thrilled with what they did for us. McDonald's, I was invited to go there this weekend, uh, but I'm also invited to go to Popeye's this weekend. So who knows? We might do both before it's all said and done. I was a couple minutes late tonight because uh, I had that in the freezer and the alarm went off. I need. I wanted my Coke a little extra icy tonight. Is it um, icy and spicy? No, I don't have the spicy tonight. I, I say okay. that, but that is a short video I hear that's out and running right now. Yes, thanks to our our shorts producer, our shorts guy, the shorts guy, yeah. uh, 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 Tiny Tunes. We call him. That's what we yes. call him. We and uh, and uh, what else we got? We got a lot to talk about today. A lot to talk about. Uh, news today that I didn't even know was news during AM Bowling. I was looking for mm -hmm. you. I didn't see you. I was Bowen. there. It was, was, was 8.05 in the morning. Right. I was I was there. Yeah. No, no, I wasn't there. I was in bed. He wasn't there. <laughs> he wasn't there. I really should have shaved because I feel I'm letting myself go. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, Next thing you know, you're going to have a goatee and everything. No, no, I don't think that. that well, who knows? You never know. I have to, I have to, I have to go get the dye and everything, too. Because Evil, whatever's evil there, Bolin. Sure it's great. Evil Bolin would come out. We have a special guest. We, we do. Have, we have beautiful beans in the house tonight. The sweet jelly bean. The sweet now, taste. Has the, has the jelly bean ever yet had jelly beans? Did we ever yes. give her a bag of jelly beans? Yes. Okay. We did. We did. Good. Uh, many of the kids got some of the jelly beans. Um, yeah, but the jelly bean, it was lost, this year. Lost all their teeth. Teeth. I think one of the ants, one of the ants picked up some from downtown. Down there where Mitch and Murray hang out. In the big city. In the big city. I'm sitting here on a mission of mercy to bring jelly beans to the jelly bean. Yes. And I don't think she was overly crazy about them, but the kids loved them. I'm not a jelly bean fan, except for the one that's on the screen. It's the only, only jelly beans I really like. Well, that's the sweetest one of all. The sweetest jelly bean of all. And speaking of sweet, speaking of sweet, we have uh, we we finally have somebody that's going to join us tonight for the first time. Uh, you know that new that new law they put into effect in Arizona that goes back to not 1964 when women yes. barely had the right to vote, but 1864. Before many, many, Arizona was a state. Even a way. state before Abe Lincoln had been elected to a second term, they decided that an abortion law, which I didn't realize there was even such a thing in 1864, but apparently right-wing Bible-thumping Republicans even back then thought it was necessary to stick their nose 
not between the thighs of a woman. Well, technically between the thighs of a woman trying to determine what she can and cannot do. I don't even think, I don't even think that ventures into anything naughty or nice there, Bob. I think that is what they've done. They've stuck their nose between the thighs of all the women of America and their doctors and trying to tell them what they can and can And wouldn't it be Arizona? Wouldn't it be that state or Texas? That's because everyone <laughs> in Arizona is that way. A, a Democratic governor, a Democratic uh, pro, uh, uh, attorney general, and uh, attorney general said, fuck you. She basically said, no, fuck you. Not on my watch. She pointed with that finger. Not on my watch. Ain't no doctors, no women being arrested. Ain't going to do it. Ain't going to do it, is what she said. So somebody might know a little something about that. Uh, he's the John Cena of this show. You can't see him because he's never here. But he's here tonight, and ten pounds heavier. I'm guessing. There he, the, there he is. Well, I don't see him. Welcome I, everybody to the Wild Wild I, West. I ain't dead, suckers. <laughs> Just got to let them know. Every so often, people are starting to look at your shit and ask if you still use it. I have a tendency. I have a tendency not to read Bob's shit, and there it is. Well, he's better than the top two co-hosts. Well, yeah, exactly. One of the well, because I yeah because I, I wouldn't be the co-host because I'm like the hostess with the most. You're like the host. Yeah. It's the kid. I'm, I'm the one working fifty shows a week now. I got the AM bowling going. Episode three was today. Only the second live one though. The first one was recorded. Well, you know, the first one's a test, and then yeah, you got to be like yeah. Eric and go solo with someone helping you. <laughs> you, you, you can't know. Mr. Bischoff does not know what solo is. I'm going to have to. As a matter of fact, uh, Paul RJ wrote me and told me that he's going to be in Aus Austri Australia. So now, and, Kenny, uh, let me just, I, I don't even mean to steal Paul RJ's thunder that quickly changed. Oh, that, so trust me. That would be just a, a you know, uh, like so the not, not only did we, butterfly. not only did we come up with a new um, layout here for the sponsors, I've got a, we have a layout for the way the show should probably run most of the time. Oh, there you oh, there you go. Now, now even even I like that. The cheesecake and his crumbs. That's right. <laughs> That's the so most band. So we Kenny have a band cheesecake called over. Cheesecake and so the I crumbs. So I should be Kenny Cheesecake over here. Yeah. And Jason Crumbs and Bobby Crumbs. Bobby Crumbs. <laughs> Crumb too. Uh, you don't even get Of course, Denny Crumb is buried 75 yards from my door along with Muhammad Ali and Colonel Sanders. Yes, WWE Hall of Famer Muhammad Ali. Yeah, yes. He's in, laying over there in a hole in the ground, and I'm not. Now, what the fuck's up with that? Something just wrong. Let me fix this. One of us, yeah. one of us created John Cena, and the other one wrote his coattails. <laughs> uh oh, I, I may have said that one wrong. I may have said that wrong. Uh, speaking of coattail riding, if somebody else don't fucking speak up, it's going to be Coltrane's shortest appearance ever as a co-host on this show. I think he's killing my ratings. <laughs> somebody, uh, and actually we peaked at the uh, 31 live viewers this morning. I get done watching it go to YouTube because that's we had three views. We got well, okay. two right now. That, add, that adds up. Yeah, we're only on the YouTube tonight. We have no Facebook. Well, then we have 22. Uh, Yes, yes, it's easy to track tonight. We're only on YouTube, no There's Facebook. The right. How you doing? Now the the AM Bolins are on everything. We do we do everything on the AM Bolins, and I was going to put those in members only, but you know what? I mean, they are kind of designed to round up the posse to come and join us for the <laughs> evening show. How do I sound tonight? By the way, we got both the microphones going again. Sound good, that stereo uh, bowl. What well, it is? It's a. Uh, I'm going. I'm, I'm. I'm strongly thinking about going. I can't get these exact I'm microphones. Sure. I went on the eBay. I went on the eBay to get me two more of these so I could Kim Jong Un it over here. You know the evil dictator. <laughs> like the and, uh, they, they don't have them no more. So I guess I. Bob, do you still have that black one you begged and pleaded to give me that you said that would really make my show look so much better if you mailed yeah, it to me. Yeah, I, I might still have it. Um, you might, but you I don't might. have a box to send it in. Well, that's, that's kind of the problem I'm having with sending you some. That's kind of the problem I'm having with sending some of your stuff. I'm trying to I'm find a box, box order, an so, appropriate see, box to ship it in. Yes. As you know, I'm I am out. told you, you know, I, I printed the uh, C view, right? And said that I would yes. make one for you. So this mm -hmm. is the much larger C view. I got I to gotta go with the readers for this. Well, here, let me clear so, my so, eyes. So, it's, it was the here, original. This is the one I'm giving. Give me a second. Give me a second. Come on, I can't see it yet. 
Yeah, it's been a rough day on my eyes. Uh, uh, my nap was very short, like 90 minutes, and I really need three-hour nap. When I've been up, I got up at 12.30 in the morning, went back to bed, took a 90-minute nap. So I, I'm functioning on not a lot of sleep. You ever get eight hours? So, fuck so no. That's, that's <laughs> the original. That's the one I, was, I showed off the other day. <clears throat> yeah, that's the original. Wow. Is the All bowling right. one. Look at the that. Bowling bird. That's a, that looks, it looks a little bigger. A little, a little, <laughs> little size. Yeah. Well, little yes. Bigger. And... It even well, happens. give your give your give yourself a big screen there, Bob, so we can see that, or or this screen, <clears throat> so we can see the sea view a little bigger there. And then it even has a little stand. Oh, a little stand, yeah. Nice. And meow meow says, says I'll see smack it. Meow meow says I'll smack it. <laughs> and right then go, meow meow go look, I got a toy. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna turn heel on somebody when that fucker starts spinning around. Now nah, I think it's it's. If you want well, to leave well, it on the it. stand and glue it in, that's uh, that's well, that's an option as well. Possible. That's an option right. as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to. Because um, because uh, Coltrane's it. always talking about spinners, but that's a whole different thing. That's that a different thing. Yeah, different I, I am gonna I'm gonna paint this, and then when I do get it painted, I'll <laughs> use some filler on the cracks here, so you don't even see the cracks. So. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something to Coltrane to where he will probably never ever refer to a female as a spinner again. Those are two cute little daughters you got there, Coltrane. <laughs> oh, that ain't gonna stop me. They know my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought it might. They're I the first one to laugh, to be honest with you. There. So much for that. I thought it might work. They're filthy. <laughs> Does the one still have that nasty ass piece of shit boyfriend that I don't like? Does she, does she still yeah, have they're him? still together. They're still together. Oh Jesus! Uh, please play this clip for that shit bag and just tell him. I don't <laughs> hold on, like it. hold on. Let's just let's. There you go. Let's get you. In yeah, fact, hold on. Wait, 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 let's do mind. this. What, what, there you go. Um, go. Yeah, a, a shit bag. Uh, you you were told by me many many moons ago to pack your shit and get out. Quit being a mooch. Get a fucking job. Uh, pay your child support. Whatever the fuck it is that you're supposed to do, and just get the fuck out of the house. I'm the king, and uh, and I like spinners. Four tops, four tops. Um, the OJ, the, the OJs, but not the one that died today. That's a whole different set of OJs. Uh, but this is your last warning. Leave my woman alone. Pack your shit. Get out of the goddamn house, and leave the young one alone too, because she'll be 18 eventually as well. So just leave them all alone. I've seen you. You ain't much to look at. You're, you're not. You're not. This is this is as bad as I can look. And look at me. Look at me. Now look at you. Look at me. Now look at you. That's black pink, motherfucker. You probably don't even know anything about black pink. <laughs> I can tell you all about black and pink, son. Trust me. Bet you could. Mm-hmm. Bet I can. Uh, I this is gonna get a still shot from WrestleMania for you when all three sisters were uh, <laughs> had their ass yeah. in the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is this has become a very filthy show. But yeah, I think yeah, he's no, there, the, there goes our revenue. Just turn there, yeah, I, turn I, our I monetization well, right down. Revenue went a long time. Pasta tart over here. How you doing? Pasta tart with a twenty five dollar donation last night. I think nice. it wasn't twenty five. It was fifteen. Which cool. was, but here's what we're trying to do tonight, and we don't have much people in here. Um, we were trying to make this the night that we raise uh, and just dedicate <clears> this show solely to sweet little Chenny. There's three siblings in her house, herself and one college kid, that need a phone of their own to research their homework and their schoolwork. Hi, Mao Mao. Mao Mao kind of wants to be on the show tonight, she acts like. And um, they always happen to borrow a neighbor's phone. Neighbors is, is can be little shit bags over there, and they don't do it much. Sometimes I go three, four, five days, I don't hear a peep from them. Oh, I'm sorry, I haven't had a phone. <laughs> And, uh, and they have to go to neighbors' houses or hope their uncle comes over to be able to do their homework. And I've been telling her for three or four months we were going to raise the money to get her the phone. If we could use tonight to get a grand total of seven of us to donate 20 bucks, we can get her a pretty decent phone. I know $140 sounds like a shit phone in America. In the Philippines, that's one of the, that's, that's not a bad one. Now, yeah, they got the $800 and $900 phones over there, but who the fuck can afford to get one? You can buy a house for that. So... Um, that's what we're looking to That's do. Cute. If we can get you, it is. Uh, well, if you get the first estimate, they're about a thousand dollars now. The second, right, right. Estimate, I mean, when you eventually build them, it's third like estimate, that, builds the, that builds the terrace, and that's about it. <laughs> so, uh, if we can get seven of us in here tonight that have an extra 20 bucks, that will take care of the phone. The other issues I have Eunice's 
Uh, and she writes me, she says, Daddy, I know this is a bad time to tell you this. I said, if it involves money, you're right. <laughs> if it involves money, you're right. Because I had to help her get her motorcycle back. She hasn't had her motorcycle for about three or four months since they fled the area to where the bad man comes around stalking them and the police don't do shit about it. I even asked the police barangay, as they call him or whatever he is, why didn't you catch him? Well, we came there and he ran. I said, I've watched a lot of fucking episodes of Blue Bloods. Every time some motherfucker runs away, they catch him. The white cop runs down the Olympic black athlete with four, four feet, <laughs> yeah, and they the beat white, his fucking ass. The white cop with dress shoes runs down the guy with the sneakers. Yes, yes, and uh, and if it's and if it's the the white cop running down the black athlete, they can't. But if it's the black athlete running down the white guy, the, the white criminal, well, that's just fucking idiotic. Why did the white well, guy? The white guy jumps from building to building, and then the black oh, guy yeah, yeah. He's jumps, a he puts his guy. hands on his thighs and breathes really heavy. Yeah, he's parkour guy. You know, yeah, he, he's Johnny Nitro, <laughs> leaping from building to building, and you know, scaffolding down. So, uh, but no, in the Philippines, apparently, if you run, you get away because the, the fat, out of shape, fat ass fucking Filipino police officers ain't gonna run you down. Well, he ran away. <laughs> we'll live to see him another day. Well, that, that's so I've been told anyway. So, um, but Lorraine has a uh, pancreatitis or something like that. She has oh. to have an ultrasound and some medications. I, I paid to get her Extreme into the hospital. Pain. Yeah, I paid is to get her into the hospital. Said? Pardon? Is yeah, that that's her in the hospital. She doesn't like to have her picture taken. So oh, Eunice oh. had to promise to put a man, but that's uh, that's her. And uh, she needs right about $60 to get the ultrasound and the medication that she needs. And that's on top of us trying to get the phone, which I've been promising Chinny's family. And some people will say, well, it is more important than the phone. Well, sort of, kind of. But then again, you got four or five kids there that need to be able to do their homework and to be able to pass school and to be able to put themselves in a position to, to get decent jobs one day. So they're both important. So that's about a $60 project. And then uh, Mylene wrote me. She's got uh, some shit going on with her and uh, it needs some medication. <laughs> And that's that's about another twenty to thirty dollars, and everybody's hitting me on the same day that I had planned on dedicating this show to just helping Chenny get her phone. So, um, is anything big on TV tonight? Our, our viewership's a little low tonight, but then again, we are just on YouTube. I was trying to think. I can't think of anything that's all the championships mm. are over with. Yeah, is basketballs. The, uh, unless done. everybody's having Trump parties to see him go to trial on Monday. I think Wait, maybe it's the having- Masters. OJ. Maybe, the morning, maybe the morning of OJ. Hmm. It, we've lost our OJ. entire black. We've lost yeah. our entire black audience this morning. The death of OJ. <laughs> so I, I will. I distinctly remember when the OJ okay. trial. You know, I remember the OJ. Oh, I was trial. working at Humana. Humana had a floor of two hundred salespeople that shut down <clears throat> to watch the chase, and then we shut down again to watch the trial. You couldn't get shit done at Humana during that time. <clears throat> Where so were you working? The verdict, the verdict was announced. Um, I remember a very strong divide on racial lines. Oh, yeah. Black oh, people yeah. were like celebrating the verdict. White yes. people were all extraordinarily upset about it. Mm-hmm. And to me, OJ is like the whitest black man that's ever lived. I'm about yeah. to tell you Joey Reed's spin on this. And y'all know who Joey Reed is, right? <laughs> oh, I am Joey. <laughs> MSNBC. Out on MSNBC. And this made as much sense as I've ever heard. And this came from Joey Reed, um, who represents her black community very strongly. And she says it wasn't the fact that they were cheering that their hero, O.J. Simpson, got by with this. They were cheering the fact that finally a black man did something horrible and got by got with away it. with it. Yeah. As opposed to the white people doing something horrible and always getting by with it when it's done to a black person. Exactly finally, right. finally, regardless whether it's OJ or whoever the fuck it was, they went through the court system and he got by with it. And it wasn't so much. They were celebrating OJ, even happy that he did it. It's just that finally one of us fucking got by with something. Mm-hmm. And that was Joey Reed spent on it. Be that right or wrong. I appreciate her perspective and her view of that. Right. And I was one of these who was going, well, that lucky, that lucky black son bitch. What the fuck? You know, but then again, had it been another black man that didn't have money and fame, guess what's happening to him? Yeah. Done. Done. Now, <laughs> Simpson didn't have the money and the, uh, well, it may be the fame, obviously, of the Donald Trump. 
uh, obviously nowhere near the access to the money because Trump has been bilking billionaires and spending their money forever and ever. Right. Never and really dumb bucks are sending their paychecks too. And plus what he inherited from his father. OJ Simpson did not have that. You can buy your own Star Maker tennis shoes instead well, of saying, exactly. yeah. well, I'll sell a few of those if I really need money. Make and sure. um, so I appreciate it. But but AM Joyce said it says she, and, and she pointed out OJ Simpson was one of the whitest motherfuckers <clears throat> who ever lived as far as the, the claim to be a black man. Lived the white. Well, we used to make fun of him all the time. Even but before. I think Oh, yeah. I figured that either O.J. Simpson or Donald Trump would have caught the real killer, because do you remember uh, what O.J. OJ said? If it takes my last breath, I will catch the real killer. Well, what did O.J. do practically every day of his life after he made that statement? This is how I would do it. (laughs) He played golf. Hey, Google, stop. Yeah, he writes a book on this is how I would have done it if I had Yeah, this is what I would have done it. Yeah, and then I found out today I didn't know this that the Goldman family sued for him writing that book, and then got the rights to the book and named it "I Did Do It" or something like that, and they kept all the proceeds of that book, and that's really the only money they ever got out of OJ was suing yeah. for the rights to that book, changing the <clears throat> title of it, stating he did do it, and changed the title. I, I, this is how I did it, or something like that. Uh, and that, that that was on MSM, and I didn't even know that happened. What a dumb but thing! Because I, knew he wrote, I knew he wrote the book, but they sold, they sued for the rights of the book. One because he was making money off from it and was not paying them, so they got every penny that was made off that book, and then retitled it to say, "Well, this is hurtful, but is the only <laughs> way we're getting anything out of it." So, uh, so I do definitely get where, where she and, and I kind of only two people have said a fucking word. And I can assure you, no one's donated anything to help poor Chenny. So, but I do have to say that Daniel Limley did start it off this morning on AM Bolin. The first ever donation on AM Bolin was Daniel Limley with twenty dollars. So we do have twenty to help her get her phone. And like I said, this isn't a pleasure phone. This isn't an iPhone fifteen, so she can chat it up with her friends. This is so her, her three siblings, <clears throat> and her sister, who's a couple of years older than her, can do their college work. And uh, is anybody going to say a word? Is anybody going to help? If not, we'll wrap this up and I'll see you guys Tuesday. Um, Because two people have fucking spoke and one of them is Jelly Bean. And uh, and thanks, Pasta Tart. So it it is uh, members only. I mean, no one's been here in the last 15 minutes. Yeah, I've been I've been I've been here 25 minutes and we've had one comment from somebody that wasn't jelly. I need to go look, make sure it's not all the people at Kenny Block that are joined. Oh. But we've had one comment from somebody and block that nope, nope, and nope, block. nope. It's just just the two comments. Mm. Yeah. There's yeah. CC. CC. CC's here. Uh, hey y'all, sorry for being well, hey, at least you made it. Uh did I miss you going? Uh, read that for me. I don't have my readers on. Hi, all. Sorry in getting in late. Did I miss you going over AEW and validating exactly what Punk no, said? No, I didn't even watch the show yeah. last night. So I, I did. Like, I, I watched, I that watched the clip. Well, I didn't see the clip. I watched the whole thing with CM Punk talking over it. So it was, you know, kind of a first person. Oh, respect. no. I, well, I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to humor that for God. <laughs> I, I have my issues with both. <clears throat> And Mm -hmm. let me address for the fact, none of you all, none of you all on this show, watching this show, no punk like I do. No Jimmy Cornette like I do. I don't know the Young Bucks. I've never met them. I was critical of what they did last night. I have been told they were made to do it by Tony Khan. They didn't want to do it. They said, this shit's old. This is eight months old. Fucking move on. It ain't that fucking big of a deal. Let's move on. Why are we drawing attention to this shit? That that was told. That's what the Young Bucks said. And Tony Khan, no, I want this done. So they did it. It looked like they were having a good time doing it to me. So, CC, I'm glad you're here because I meant to talk about this. I I teased it on AM Bowling this morning. Uh, By the way, Joey Reed used to have a show called AM Joy. No one's original. I stole her show's name. Uh, Only she didn't go by AM Bowling. Thank God it could have been trouble. I certainly didn't see anything. Well, it made it made punk look like a pussy. And let, let me analyze what happened. There. It would be like if me, because me and John Bradshaw Layfield had an issue in the locker room once where he was mad. He thought I was putting myself over. Go figure. I don't know what made him think that. He thought I was putting myself over 
on a personal appearance we were doing at a school that was also going to lead up to a wrestling show. I was there to promote the wrestling show featuring Ron Simmons, John Branshaw Layfield, and the APA. They were sent down here to work with us for a few weeks, like six weeks. So I played the video for the guy. I say, hey, here's what I did to promote us for this upcoming school in the South End. And John comes in, takes the videotape out, stomps it and breaks it in the middle of the floor. Yeah, I figured you'd be in here goddamn putting yourself over because Seven was riling him up about me. Seven didn't like me. I didn't like Seven. <laughs> so he breaks the tape and then says, you need to clean that shit up. And I looked at him and shook my head and walked out of the locker room. Seven comes to get me. Well, weeks go by, three or four weeks go by. And that broken tape is still in the locker room. JBL says, you better get in there and clean that locker room up. He says, you got, you got to clean that tape up. I said, fuck him. I ain't going to do it. As if he wants to beat my ass and lose his job over that tape, that's up to him. I said, I ain't touching it. I didn't break it. He can fucking clean it up. So he goes back and tells him that. And he's, goddamn. So next thing you know, me and Branshaw eventually pass things up. He comes over to my house for steak dinners and we shoot basketball. But let's just say it goes a different way. I can't whip John Bradshaw Layfield, especially back in the mid 2000s, early 2000s, whenever he was here. I can't whip him. I know who I can whip and who I can't. He ain't one of them. But let's say, like Cornette does, when he likes to talk a good fight and makes people think he can fight, knowing he fucking can't. Let's say me and Bradshaw about to go at it. He's in my face, I'm in his. And we're having a little discussion. All right, I'm going to look like a big man here. I can't whip this motherfucker. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push him real hard. And then I'm going to hope the boys come and save me because a lot of people are going to get in the middle. They're not going to let this fight go down. They're not going to let Layfield whip my ass. So that was an option I could have chose is to look, oh, Bowling wasn't scared of him. Did you see what he did? Bowling wasn't scared. No, Bowling would have been fucking terrified if nobody had stepped in. But just like with that thing, Punk didn't take <laughs> it. He didn't get him down as tough MMA fighter who never won a fucking fight other than the one that got reversed on a decision that he had lost. He didn't do shit. He pushed him. No one, everybody back there was going to get in the middle and break it up. He pussy pushed him is what I call it. So, <laughs> and this ain't got anything to do with me liking or disliking punk. Me and punk had some good days. Me and punk had some bad days, mainly when he got called up and got the fucking big head because Tony Atlas had buried him, regardless what he, Tony Atlas or anybody else wants to say. <clears throat> I sat there and fucking saw the thing. Cornette saw the fucking thing. And so did various others. They know what the fuck happened. Punk was being disrespectful to Tony Atlas. Tony Atlas wasn't happy about it, but they are now putting a different spin on it. Fuck their spin. I sat there and saw it. I stayed to see it. I didn't often stay for the postmortems, but I, but but that night I, I knew I was going to see something I was probably going to want to see because I knew Punk couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut and I knew Tony wasn't going to fucking take it. And uh, so whatever they're saying now, they're both full of shit because I, I saw what the fuck happened. So that's what Punk did. He pushed him, knowing the fight would be broken up. To me, it made Punk look like a pussy. That's neither here nor there. There are lots of people in the wrestling business that do that shit. Well, I can't look like a pussy. I can't back down. So I'm going to count on the boys to break it up. And that's exactly what happened there. So exactly what he was doing when it happened. I kind of predicted that was what was going to happen. Uh, but I heard the fight was much tougher and much rougher than that. Yeah, Apparently too. not. I don't know where it goes. Apparently. Oh, and now and now Tony Khan has opened himself up because the privacy laws apparently are very similar to what it is in Japan. That's why nobody knows jack shit on Asuka. Nobody knows jack shit about her daughter. No one's got pictures of her. No one knows what her personal life is about because even if creditors are looking for her, if she tells them, no, my shit's private, you don't tell anybody anything, that, that it, it, it don't get out. Because you, you can't tell me that good journalists wouldn't like to have a picture of Oscar's daughter or catch her out at the mall or something. Yeah, well, apparently sure. the UK's probably, hang on, let me finish. Apparently the UK's laws are very similar. And what happened in that building is the rights of the building. From how it was explained to me, the they were given permission to have the video for the hearing or whatever, or whatever they were going to do with it. And then they had 30 days to destroy that video. It was never to be shown on television <laughs> to anybody other than those involved that the video needed to be shown to or the courts or whatever the fucking deal was. Well, Tony Khan didn't do that. Tony Khan showed it, violated everybody's rights that was in that video. Anybody that was on that video, including Punk, should have been blurred out. And even that might have not been enough. They didn't even bother to do that. Tony Khan went into business for himself. And <laughs> I, said, well, I said, isn't that kind of like... Um, 
the Sam Bass rule when Sam Bass would try to talk himself out of a speeding ticket. And once it was evident he couldn't do it, well, fuck you. I can pay anything you can write, Officer Johnson. And uh, he said, well, yeah, Tony Khan might be able to pay anything he can write, but they may ban him from doing business anymore in the UK. They may ban him from being associated with that football team he's associated with, soccer team, that I didn't even know that he was involved with. Apparently he is. His so, dad owns it. Yeah, uh, apparently he might have really fucked herself up with that situation and that the UK is not involved, the ownership of that building, they have the rights to the video, not, not AEW or anybody else in there. That is their right, footage. And, and showing it might have gotten a little bit of a ratings pop one time, but not doing well, have it. We, have we seen any ratings yet or any <laughs> we haven't seen ratings yet? I, I haven't. Seen it ain't it gonna yet. be much either way, and and yeah, now and it's, it's, it's terrible. Even if it does get a little bit of a pop, it's gonna go right back. It's not gonna. Well, as it always anything. has, as we've always predicted, it's not. No gonna, one's gonna, gonna, gonna go. Up. I gotta keep watching the show now for this. You know, serious and, question. And, do you? And this is kind of sad to even think about, but do you think we might have another Herb Abrams? Like, what are those? Well, you cut out on me, so I don't know what you said. I said, do you think we might have like another Herb Abram situation? Well, everything was going smoothly, and now I fucking can't hear hardly shit he's saying without. Like, I hear everything, everything he's saying. So, it's oh, did you, I hear you fine, Bob. I'm not hearing Coltrane good. Okay, Bob, so the question for me. He said, "Do you think it might be another situation where we're building ourselves another Herb Abrams?" Herb was a little uh -huh. bit on the uh, side of things. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Just a little erratic, high. you know, just. Now, yeah, you look at Tony Khan, he's on something. I mean, oh, he's, yeah. yeah. Well, too uh, Inquiring he's got cocaine minds, in this nose and Adderall in this one, baby. Inquiring it's, minds, I think, already know. He's like, like Bob said, he's on something. Allow me to read these donations real quick because I didn't know we even had any. Okay. Michael now, Ryder got, with 25 bucks to help us out. Thank you, Michael right, Ryder. Now, now, I'll tell you, there's a, there's a Michigan Mike, that is. There's a stipulation for that uh, donation. Oh yeah, uh, he did, he did not he did not apply a stipulation. Uh, well, he did in the in the chat rooms, so, but we'll get to it. Uh, what did he say in the chat room? Where did it go? He, I'll give you twenty five dollars if you admit that Kevin McCarthy was a better speaker than Nancy Polsky. So I don't know who Nancy I Polsky I is. You no, no, no. Money. Much better than Polsky. No, oh my Jesus! Way better than well, Nancy Polsky. Number one, you didn't spell her name right. Put some no, respect well, on I don't, that. Well, I think he's got it right. He's asking about Nancy Polsky. Who never no. actually did serve as speaker. So no. by default, so, so Kevin by default, Kevin would have been speaker. better. Yes. Okay. I did it better. I can keep them out. Now, I don't know about Nancy Pelosi, but that's a whole Jesus other story. Christ, Michigan, Mike. And Why are you Speaker of the House or Orator? Why are you doing this with <laughs> these Republicans? That and and, and Michael, there, there's no, there's no secrets here. We're all yeah, aware. Why would you align yourself with a group of people that hate you? Why would you do that? Why would it. any transgender support them? Why would any black person support them? Black why would any Trump, gay person support them? Why would any why would any gay or bisexual person support them? They don't like you unless they think they can get a vote out of you, like they've done. Who, who's the Ben Carson? Candace <laughs> Owens. Candace Owens. Yeah, unless they think you will <laughs> say the shit they want you to say, thinking you might lure a couple of your type, be it black, gay transgender, what have you, because isn't uh, Caitlyn Jenner also Republican? Oh, they yeah, love Caitlyn Jenner. Jenner. Yeah. Very Republican. They, they want to cut Caitlyn Jenner's dick off that she just went through the trouble to have removed. So, I don't know. So, uh, but um, Michael Ryder, I've heard I'm not done. I've got more oh, donations. You're going to allow right. me to do so. Do so. Uh, Nicole, hot Nicole. We have no verification of this because they won't send us a goddamn picture, but Nicole is nice. Nice. Well, Coltrane does. Uh, Ten dollars from Nicole. We have good Chris. Good Chris, who asked lots of questions. Thank God. So somebody was asking something in here. Has donated forty dollars. Where does he want? Good Chris. Where do you want that money to go, Mister Good Chris? And TC from the NC has donated ten dollars. Oh, get now, the fuck out of town! Tell like. us where you want your money to go. Whether you want it to go to Lorraine with her sixty dollar issue. The medication for my lean over and slap your face. Oh, and Chris called. She's also sick, needed medications. Uh, CRIS, you remember her, Bob? And mm -hmm. she's needing some help. And she's even asking for as much. Uh, uh, or they take this. Uh, uh, here's this. Hold on. 
Yeah, read it. I hate tell you, King, but four years of Trump would be better for this country than two years of Biden and two years of Kamala. Twa- hey, what I'll do? I'll tell you what I'll do, Michigan Mike. You're you're a, like, we're, 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 we're a good friend. We're good, we're good friends. And you're a good donor to this show, and I appreciate everything you do for this show. Me and the tea maker agree, uh, disagree from time to time. I, I was going to take him to Popeyes this weekend, but he had to go out of town, can't go. Anytime you want to drag your Michigan ass in here and debate me on where this country is now, because you're a smart guy, but there's some shit you're not processing. Yes, things are higher now. Guess fucking what? When wages go up, when the economy goes up, when the worldwide economy is affected, it affects all of us. My brother, my stupid ass fucking Republican brother was bitching about gas prices in Carroll County. They're two dollars cheaper than at some points during the Trump administration when he fucked this country up because he ignored fucking COVID. He ignored COVID, killed over a million of us. And you all still want to blow this guy. Pat him on the back, jack him off, whatever the fuck y'all want to do to Donald Trump. He nearly ruined this fucking country. South Korea got fucking COVID when we did. They didn't handle it that way. They didn't ignore it. They treated it, and their country was much better. New Zealand, almost the same fucking time we got COVID, didn't fucking ignore it, treated it properly, and they didn't go through the problem we did. We were probably the worst country in the world handling fucking COVID. But no, no, by Easter, the, the, the sun will... Gradually wash it away. It's amazing what heat does. And where did where did Tom Hanks get COVID? Tom Hanks got COVID, him and his wife, when they were in fucking New Zealand on a 103-degree day. The heat didn't do shit. It was summer damn time down there. <laughs> yes. It didn't I do mean, fucking India shit. India had it. It didn't I mean, help them. Right. It did nothing. Bleach didn't do anything. Oh, and inject bleach. Drink bleach. Inject, uh, have laser lights. and. He stood up at a press conference in front of a fucking doctor who's sitting there shaking her head like, what the fuck? And you want to tell me how great this guy is? You want to tell me how great the economy was? You know why you felt the economy was good? We were all getting, well, he's not going to come in here and debate me anyway, so I'll do it right here. The econ- You felt like the economy was good because, number one, gas prices is supply and demand. When there ain't no fucking demand, the prices <clears> go down. We are now pumping more oil than we've ever pumped in America, which Democrats don't like. They're wanting us to focus more on uh, nuclear. Uh, no, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but but uh, solar energy. That's what Democrats want us to focus on. And Biden's not doing it. He's pumping more oil because he wants to bring oil prices down or they'd be even higher than what they are now. We are 22nd in the world in gas prices out of 195 countries. We are the 22nd lowest. Yes, Iran's cheaper. Saudi Arabia's cheaper. Some of those that... Well, look at England lower. and Germany, though. Um, this shit but, is high. Yeah, but you will default to what Trump does wrong. I, well, I know you don't yeah, like Trump. Don't don't shit wrong. He's a clown. <laughs> but for, uh, so, well, tell me, what, what is Biden doing that's fucking with you? I'll give you every opportunity. Come on in here, Mike. Yeah, You're a big boy. Come on in here. Bob, send yeah. him a join link. Now, you ever Come notice on, when a Democrat there. is president, don't, they're like president don't, don't, of the world? Don't, don't type eight words to me and think you're having a debate. Come in here and explain yourself. My brother won't do it either because he's a chicken shit because he knows I know a lot more about this shit than he does. He knows what he fucking sees on Fox News. Well, what about all the ballots that were brought in in boxes? You can't tell. That's, yeah, they, they were all for Biden, too. Every fucking one of them. And if they weren't, they changed them, you stupid fuck. 61 courts. <laughs> 64, excuse me. 64 courts ruled on that shit. Most of them Republican judges. And guess what happened in every fucking one of them? Trump lost. Trump fucking lost. Not that you're saying he did or didn't, but what is Biden doing to you that's affecting you, that's fucking with you? Because all he's ever done is try to help the common man. All he's ever done is try to increase wages. All he's ever tried to do is help single moms, help black communities. What 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 did Trump do that helped you? He gave a tax break to the filthy fucking rich. That ain't you. It ain't me, and it ain't even Bob Hazelwood, believe it or not. Not a fucking tax cut that Bob that, that Trump gave helped Bob Hazelwood. Oh, it might have helped uh, the CEOs of Amazon, FedEx, maybe some of these fucking multi-billion dollar companies. Oh, for, fuck yeah, it helped them. That's why they campaigned to put him in office. That's why they bought his fucking way into the goddamn White House. What has he done? And come in here, Mike. I fucking dare you. Come Why in does here. Why Trump live in your head 24? Because we see him 24-7. Oh, <laughs> 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 Shut the fuck up. 
Well, well, what is it about the liberal ideology that bothers you, Mike? Come in here and tell me. And why is it you guys think that we just sit around thinking about Trump? He's in our fucking face every day. So He's in our <laughs> we don't talk face about every it. Day. Now, hopefully Not like we just bring him up like, hey, remember that Trump guy? Yeah. When a criminal in my neighborhood is robbing every fucking house in the goddamn neighborhood and fucking every teenage girl he can find and getting by with it. Yeah, he's in our fucking face and we want him to be caught. We want him to be dealt with. That's what Trump has done. He has gotten by with crimes his entire fucking life. Yeah, there's 91, well, 88 now because three of them went away. Uh, I wonder how that happened. So no, if you want to come in here and debate, you tell me what the liberal <laughs> idea has done to fuck with you. And Republicans despise gays, transgenders, name the fuck Mexicans, foreigners, people with dark skin. They fucking hate them. Just they do Project everything. 2025. That's all you, you need to know. Say what we want you to say and do what we want you to do. We fucking hate you. Same way with white people. Have you noticed all the white people in Democrat in the Democratic society that go to bat for you every fucking day? There's a fucking shitload of them. Even old white guys, which I criticize old white guys. I'm one of them. I was raised to be that way. But Mike, come in here. I dare you. I dare you to come in here and tell me what Biden or liberal ideology has done to hurt you. And if I you promise, Mike, it. if you come in, I will mute Kenny's mic so he won't be no, able to No, you won't. You. I'll you fucking will. Yes, I will. Out here. I'll ban you. Do you, it. Oh, you, you will not stop Oh, me. please, God, uh, do that. $20. <laughs> I'm trying to give you what you want. Uh, $20 an hour in California. Uh, throw it up here because I'll answer that. Twenty dollars in Iron California, such relaxed criminal laws that the all right, who's fucked with you, Mike? Who stole anything from you? Relaxed criminal laws. Guess what every fucking major city in the United States has? Guess what every major city in the United States is? Probably 98% of them, 97. They're democratic cities. They're democratic cities. Twenty dollars an hour in California. Whoop the fucking dude. Do you know what that twenty dollars an hour in Louisville ain't a big deal anymore? We got McDonald's, Burger King, Popeye's Fried Chicken, one of my sponsors, Bear Nose. They're begging for fucking people to come to work for $20 an hour. And our cost of living is not a fraction of what it is in California. And there ain't been a governor there that could do shit about it for whatever fucking reason, due to location or whatever it is, or 33 million people now pushing 40 million. That live there. Yeah, uh, California has the, 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 the gross national product or GDP or whatever it is of many, many of our countries, if you took Texas and California out of that, they have they have the, the, the gross national product of many fucking countries. And what, yes, so what, is, what do you, hang on, hang on. No. What do you think $20 an hour does for a Californian? They need 40 fucking dollars an hour and they still have trouble making a living out there due to the fucking cost of living in California. Louisville's not so bad. And I'm and I pay half what everybody else pays around here, and we're still not bad compared to a lot of other areas. Phoenix ain't really bad, to be honest with you. If you're in a major fucking city, guess what? Crime's a problem. You think immigrants are the ones fucking doing it? Every fucking real <clears throat> study in the United States shows you that born bred Americans commit ten times the fucking crimes any foreigner ever made. There ain't no fucking foreigners going and voting at the guy. Oh, they want all the foreigners to come in so they can go vote for Biden. Bull fucking shit. Do you really think they're going to try that goddamn hard to come into this country, do everything they can to fucking stay here, and they're going to go down to where every Republican and every Trumper are having everybody they can watching those polls trying to get anybody with dark skin out of there because they're going to fucking vote against them. Anybody wearing a fucking gay pride flag is going to vote against them and rat them out, and especially if you're a foreigner. So you really think they're going to jeopardize everything that they either came here, walked thousands of miles to do, paid thousands of dollars to get here to go vote for a Democrat? You're fucking idiots if you feel that way. I'm not talking to you, Mike. I'm talking to anybody that thinks these foreigners spend that much money and that much time and walk that many miles so they can go vote for a fucking Democrat. You're a fucking idiot to believe such a thing. You're making Okay, what about Texas, Michigan, Mike? Texas no, no, Kentucky's not a conservative state. Kentucky has rural conservative areas. Kentucky is run by fucking Democrats, Mike. The governor is a fucking Democrat. The mayor of city of Louisville, a Democrat. The mayor of Paducah, a Democrat. The mayor of Fayette County, where Lexington is, a Democrat. Democrats run this fucking place, not Republicans. That's where you're dead fucking wrong. And it's that way in almost every fucking major city, Mike. It's also Probably a mainly rural state. Detroit, right? where they don't want Detroit to vote. 
throw out the black votes in Detroit. Why? Because eighty percent of Detroit's black. The what are eighty percent of living? Of, what are what are ninety percent of those eighty percent doing? The governor has zero oh, power. Yeah. Can we? <laughs> throw out those votes. Throw out Minneapolis, Minnesota. Throw out Philadelphia. I think the only one they don't want to throw out is Miami because they have the Cubans convinced that the, that it's basically Fidel Castro running this fucking country. But no, it's I'm not. They get right. scared. And, and, and Kentucky is not a conservative state. We have a lot of conservatives in our state. Rural, country, uneducated bumfucks typically are conservative. You know why I was a rural, uneducated, rural bumfuck who was raised to be a Republican like every other member of my family? I fucking evolved. I fucking evolved. My brother did not. And he believes what he sees on fucking Fox News. I am not making your point for you. And if you were the friend and the man you say you are, you would come in here and verbally debate me. And Bob can mute me all he fucking wants. I don't care. You can have your say, then I'll have mine just like I'm doing now. I'm making your point for you. That is fucking ridiculous, Mike, and you know it. I don't like the liberal. I got nothing against Biden. It's the liberal ideas. Tell me what the liberal ideas are doing to hurt you, Mike. I haven't seen. Has he posted that yet, Bob? That's every Democratic president that's been in there. It's not you I don't like. It's the ideology. It's like, okay. Not, so well, Trump, I, I think it's and, fair and, to and say. Hey, I, I, I don't even drink beer, and I'd have had a beer with George Bush, the second one. I, I think, where'd Bob go? Bob muted himself. So, no, I, I, I would have had a beer with Bush. I would I would have had a beer. I would have had a beer with Reagan. I, I never hated anybody till a fucking habitual lifetime criminal got in office. And then there's a certain uneducated bunch of rural bumfucks that think this man is for them. He is not. He's not even remotely for you. He's for himself. The only fucking reason he's running for president is that he's trying to fucking stay out of office. So what is it that you think Donald Trump or any other Republicans going to do? They don't want women to have rights. They don't want black people to vote. Take a good fucking look at Arizona right now. And the only reason that there's a fighting chance for those people is that they do have a Democratic governor and they do have a Democratic attorney general in Arizona. That's the only fucking fighting chance they got right now. But they stacked the Wyatt Earp era. Shit. Jesus, fucking 1864 rules? Yeah, I mean, that's Jesus fucking right. You weren't a state in 1864. Your governor just got pushed around like a bitch by your Republican Senate. Well, guess what? That's what Republican Senates do. They go against the what the desires are of the majority, and the majority of us live in Democratic areas. The majority of us live in Democratic cities. We are the majority. You see the red map and stupid people think, well, look at that. That's a lot more. No, that's where the dumb fucks live. That's where the dumb fucks basically live. Not all of them are dumb fucks, but a lot of them are. How do I know? I used to be one of those. I used to live amongst those. That was it. So, yeah. So, no, you're not getting pushed around like a bitch, Mike. You fucking know better than that. And you know better than that because you're smarter than that. I'll give you that credit. You're a pretty smart guy. But you're in here pushing some shit, I guess, because you just want to fucking argue with somebody. Because you're dead fucking wrong. He didn't get pushed around like a little bitch. He was fucking outnumbered. That is what that's why Trump stacked the Republican Senate with Republican fucking judges so that nine people can decide the fate of the fucking world. They, they can. And, and it's six to three. If you want a perfect situation and it ain't perfect, but it's better than what we got now. Give me four Democrat judges. Give me four Republican judges. And then one judge who declares himself an independent that both sides have to unanimously agree on. <laughs> deciding vote because still even with those republican judges we get a lot of shit our way as long as the three trump appointees don't stick their fucking nose in it and even one of them's been fucking with trump recently kavanaugh the drunken guy who got millions of dollars of his debt paid off and we still don't know who paid it you got the black republican judge thomas he's one of the most crooked motherfuckers ever fucking lived and he won't recuse himself from a case even though his wife participated in the fucking insurrection <clears throat> And hey, when we have a crook like that fucking Menendez guy, I'm the first one to say, get his fucking ass out of there. Any decent fucking Democrat would. Blagojevich, so you know, like, we didn't want him. Uh, back to the Republican Senate with judges. He was ranting. And oh, he was smoke. That's all it was. It was ranting. He, so, he just wanted to, to answer really some of your points. about it, Mike, get a join Mike, link and come in here. You yeah. obviously have plenty of time tonight. I, get you a link, I come in here. One, and, I said he well, you going to let me finish Facebook. talking or not? 
You're going to finish no, letting me talk. I'm about not. Me. I told you. Yeah, you are. Jo- there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Even Bob, Bob just quit. Oh, he logged all the way out. Quit. No, he, he logged out totally. Damn. Jesus Bob Christ. left the building. Guess it's me and you, buddy. Good I God. Guess so, man. I knew it. <laughs> Well, I guess uh, he's mad. Yeah, well. What do you there you go, Mike? There you go. And drove out Bob. All I ask is if I'm talking, let me finish. That's all I ask. Because if you're talking and I'm talking, it ain't working, right? Let me finish. The show does have a certain name on it. But no, he got mad and quit. So I don't know. Maybe Bob's gone for good. I don't know. <laughs> He'll be back. He might not. He looked pretty pissed. Yeah, he looked Always. pissed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He looked like but, he was uh, but no, Mike's not going to come in. Mike's not going to come in. He's invited. Mike would rather type, I guess. And he's oh. the only one that's been speaking except for T Maker. That was ten minutes. Uh, what, what all did What all did T Maker have to say? Um, let's see. Started off with, or they say, "Look at this mess." And meanwhile, they won't pass a bill just despite the sitting president talking about Republicans. Yeah. Um, prices are going up. Biden has to refill the reserves. Then Iran wants their get backs at Israel. I don't know what that means, but I don't know. And that's the last thing he said. And and we, and we tried to make the border stronger. Uh, we worked with Republicans to get that done. And then they won't even put it on the floor for a vote because Trump told him not to because he wants to campaign on it. So they're not that concerned about the border. If they were, if they were, if they were, if they, were they would do something about it. Yeah. All right. Well, Bob, if, if you totally quit the show, let me know if you're still helping Joey Bean or not. And if not, we'll find a way to help her. And if you got that mad at me over this shit, then I'm disappointed in you. Um, but just let me know if uh, if you're done, and if you are, I'll figure out a way to help Jelly Bean. And uh, I'm sorry you feel that way. You know how this show goes, and you know when I get worked up over stupid shit. So I'm disappointed you'd quit on me in the middle of a fucking show. But okay. Jelly Bean doesn't want you guys to fight anymore. She has a little heart yeah. there. I wasn't fighting. <laughs> I just wanted to finish my fucking thought. That's all. Does have my name on the show. I'm not one of the crumbs. So, oh well. <laughs> Maybe that came late. Uh, what do you do? <clears throat> uh, let's let me see. I don't think we have any other donations anyway, so we might be about ready to wrap it up. Did, did Mike want to come in or not? Mike, would you like to come in? Oh, well. What about Saturday? You want to come in then so you have your notes and shit? Well, I, I plan on I plan on being back uh, Saturday. Nice. Um, let's see. Honey Rose is in school. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, we'll give it. Uh, uh, Bob, are you going to come back? Or are you really going to be like that? I mean, come Jesus, on, Bob. Come on, Bob. Shit. Oh, well. It had to happen eventually, I guess. <laughs> the, uh, it's happened before. I don't know if he's actually just got mad and quit in the middle of the show. I yeah, mean, he's, he's actually left himself. the whole. He's kicked himself out for a minute or two. I've never seen him just get mad and quit. Yeah. So, yeah he he did wait by, though. He did wait by. So that's something. Oh, well, yeah. No, oh, well, I've asked him to come back. If he don't want to do it, that's up to him. He's a grown man. He's a grown ass man. Uh, nope. Apparently that is it, guys. Apparently uh, we are done on donations. Uh, it's 10.02. I will go. Guys, we haven't had enough. Uh, those of y'all writing me asking for money, we don't have enough to help everybody. We've tried. We have certainly tried. And hell, that last 20 minutes was pretty entertaining. That should have got something. I thought, it, well, I thought that would have got something. Hell, Bob mm-hmm. should donate just for that. But no. Um, well, that's a mood killer. All right. What do you do? Um, so, so, Mike, do you want to come in or not? Coltrane to mediate. Because I don't think Bob's coming back. I'll be fair. I, th- I think you will. I think you will. Oh, well. So they were about the only two talking anyway, weren't they? Michigan Mike and, uh, and yeah. the T-Maker. T-Maker oh, well. and Michigan Mike, yeah. And well. Jelly Bean threw a heart up there. 
Yeah, she tried. She tried. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, uh, Train, um, we'll give it two more minutes. And uh, if Bob don't come back and if uh, Michigan Mike don't want to come in and no one else is commenting, then we don't really have much purpose to be here then, do we? I'll go ahead and tap out at that point, I guess. And I, 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 Well, it would be right at one hour. I, I think it went on. So we'll give it four more minutes. That'll, that'll be exactly one hour. Five more minutes. That'll be exactly one hour. And uh, I've asked Bob to come back. Apparently, he's not going to do it. Uh, I've asked Michigan Mike to come in. Apparently, he's not going to do it. Um, apparently, the ghost of Indiana was unblocked because there he is making a comment. Um, well, I, uh, I, I think I'd be a very good governor because I'd have people smarter than me helping me make decisions is what I would do. Not a, not surround myself with a bunch of people that go to fucking prison as Trump did. And they gave the list of all the people that went to prison under Trump. Mm-hmm. Taking a bullet for him, just like Weisselberg uh, yesterday got or the day before got sent back to prison twice for defending Trump, and he won't testify <laughs> against him. So he's he's a year younger than Trump, and he's going to prison for Trump. So I, you got me, man. You got me. Yeah, that's the uh, real cult mentality right there. Yeah. <clears throat> oh well, well I've done everything I can to, to get Bob to come back. <laughs> he ain't gonna do it. So, uh, so we got three more minutes. I never dreamed he would be like that. He knows what I do on the show, especially if you get me amped up over this shit. He might have had a bad day, too. Well, we all have bad days, but I've never quit in the middle of a show and just fucking left um, and bailed on fucking people. You know? Yeah. It's, it's not like him to do it. I don't know. Fuck. I handle shit differently than people. Yeah. So. He might just need to blow some steam off. I don't think he's going to be back. I don't really? think he's coming back. I think he's done. I think he's done. So. Nah, Jelly Bean will lure him back. He's got to do it for the baby. Oh, he, he might just help her himself. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Jelly Bean, my, life might be getting a lot tougher, darling. So I can tell you, I can't, <laughs> I can't afford it. Um, I love you, but I can't afford it. Just like I told about four or five others today. Um Well, we got a little something, man. Uh, I think we're going to abort trying to take care of the phone. I think we're just going to help uh, the people that are needing some medical help right now because it doesn't look like we're going to make enough money to do anything about that phone. And uh, checking here, uh, we do have a $22.91. I got a donation from Anonymous that says Bob is over at that other show with everybody else I've gotten rid of. <laughs> uh, $22.91 donation there from an anonymous <laughs> source. And uh, Bob is over at that other show. Well, uh, well, we all have choices to make. Yeah, we we all, he, he, would, he would be welcome. They're probably recruiting him right now would be my guess. Oh, I bet. Because yeah, they would have to pay three dollars to get in here. And actually, they'd have to pay three dollars to get in here and actually comment. They can't afford that. So, what do you do? So, um, I don't know. No, he he didn't write me or anything. So, I don't. I guess he's gone. I guess he's gone. So, uh, one, well, we got two more minutes, folks. So if anybody's got anything to say or do, uh, thank you for the twenty-two dollar and ninety-one cent donation and the update on the disappearance of Bob Hazelwood and. Uh, <laughs> have I pissed you off very bad today? I was talking over you a lot too. Nah, I'm used <laughs> to it. Told you to shut up a couple times. So are you all right? <laughs> I'm Generation X, man. We. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we you, can tell my, you can tell by my face, my blood was pumping a little bit tonight. Oh yeah, you were both kind of red. And I, and I love. I might have beat Mike, man, too. I don't know. I, I, I like Mike. Mm-hmm. Uh, we disagree on a lot of shit, but. Um, you know, you, but when you make these arguments, you have to tell me what it is that he's doing that you think about. Because guess what? Prices go up when wages go up. When the economy goes up, you know, well, I like it better when gas was 23 cents a gallon. Well, guess what you oh, were man. making when gas was 23 cents a gallon. Right. Well, I, I only I can testify to that. Most of us have never saw 23 cents a gallon gas. But uh, when I was a teenager, gas was 76 cents a gallon. I thought it was outrageous. I was, making a, I, was, I was making, life, making a dollar thirty-five an hour at Dairy Queen. Yeah, uh, right. we're, let's talk about. Well, you're probably a little late because I think the show's about to go off the air because everybody quit donating. Yeah, we got about. And uh, the, the, show, the show got good and hot, and everybody quit donating. So, 
Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Jelly Bean Pam. Yep, J9. Yeah, J9 Knee was needing a backpack and a pair of shoes. Uh, the shoes were 400 pesos, so $8, and the backpack was 480 pesos. That was um, that was uh, $10. So she was needing about $18 for a pair of shoes and a backpack for school for J9 Knee. Uh, we love you guys. It's because you guys life another Filipino get better life. Honey, he quit. I don't know what to tell you. He quit in the middle of the show. I don't know what to tell you. I asked, to come, I, asked him, I asked him to come back and he didn't do it. <clears throat> and uh, has he seen it? No, well, I'm don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Um, he knows we're here. Yeah, he knows we're here. So, and he, he elected to quit. So, there's not much I can do about that. Well, hey, this is actually a good uh, Saturday lead in. Who shot JR type of thing? Who J yeah, who shot JR? I guess we'll find out. Um, let me see how much we got tonight and then see who I can help. And if anybody else wants to help, because uh, we thought we were going to $20 this thing to death tonight and we only got two of those. Yeah, he appeared to be uh, Billy Sellers. He appeared to be. Man, how long were you here not talking? <laughs> well, that's a long fucking time, apparently. Well, with a badge, he, he could have talked. Yeah. Billy could also donate it. So, Billy, don't be. He knows why we're here. He knows why we're here. Uh, there's Jelly Bean. Jelly Bean likes the living room and the bedroom. Thank you, Jelly Bean. Appreciate it. I've certainly posted enough pictures of it. I was proud of it. Maybe, maybe Bob's jealous of my bedroom and living room. That very well could, could be. It could be. It, it, it could be. It could be all about the bedroom. I don't. It's know. frustrating when you can't mimic somebody the way you want. You know. Yeah. Style the way you want. Yeah. But he's been here long enough to know that if I'm talking, I'm not going to shut up. He's been here long enough to know that. You've been here nowhere near as long as him, and you know that. <laughs> but he ain't going to shut up, so I just might as well shut up until he gets done. Then I'll get <laughs> yeah, you with everybody else. I was like, okay, well, that's <laughs> if that's the rule, I'll stick with it. Somebody, uh, uh, Lena is wanting help to get an electric fan, but the one she sent me was solar powered with lights. For damn near forty dollars, I said, "Well, no one else is getting one of those. You might be an ex-girlfriend, but you're not getting one either. You know, everyone else is getting fans that are eight dollars, ten dollars, twelve dollars. My fan in my bedroom costs fourteen dollars and fifty cents from Walmart, and I've had it four years. Find one of those. But but Daddy Bear, it saves on electric if I have a solar fan. Well, it saved me on electric too if I had solar fans. Guess what? I don't have. I don't have solar fans. So." All right, so let me see what the total of the donations are. And uh, Coltrane, do you want to help me out Saturday? Because I'm telling you, I don't think Bob's coming back. I'll be in. I don't think he's coming back. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Michigan, uh, I guess Mike's mad at me too. He's uh, he quit talking. Yeah, he dropped. Oh, no, yeah, well, maybe him and maybe him and Bob are buddying up. I don't know. Billy will give some money when he gets paid next month. How many times have I heard that? <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you can, man. Whenever you can. When you get paid next month, what happened to this month? Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. But Mike's still uh, Mike's still welcome to come in here. Mike, are you mad at me too? Because I think Bob quit. Yeah, fingers crossed Bob will come back, says Pasta Tart. I believe that's the poll, isn't it? I mean, I've asked him to come back. I can't do anything more than that. <clears throat> Jelly Bean says she's so sorry about Bob leaving. Well, it's not your fault. You didn't do anything. You don't have anything to be sorry about. Yeah, I think after a good night's sleep, he'll probably wake up with a different attitude. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's up to him. Seems I can't make him do it. And, and for the record, I didn't get rid of Bob. Bob got rid of himself. Uh, most of you I've gotten rid of. I did not get rid of Bob. Bob got rid of himself. So. Mm. Just all trying to be a, like, I, I, I get mad all the time, mm. but I don't, you know, I, I don't do that. Yeah. You know, I, I don't, I, I don't do that. Yeah, I just get quiet when I'm mad. 
<laughs> well, I, believe it or not, I've done that too. Mm-hmm. That's when uh, people get nervous. I think Mike's so actually writing me back, so I'm waiting to read his message. Hell, maybe, maybe Mike quit too. I don't know. <laughs> well, that was a little friendly competition. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm waiting to see what Mike is saying. Not everybody uses speech to text like me. <laughs> maybe the dolphin helmet on the microphone was bad luck tonight. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, Pasta Turk, you're welcome to write Bob and tell him how you feel. I mean, I, I didn't quit the show. I mean, I mean he, he he will need to speak to me. I, I did not quit the show. So, or get rid of him. So it, it's up to him what he wants to do. And, and he keeps saying that he wants to leave. So maybe this is his way to do it. I don't know. And if he hates doing the show that bad, it might be the right thing for him to do. I mean, I don't want you to be here if you don't want to be here. Um, hopefully we can still be friends, but if he doesn't want to be here and if he doesn't want to do it, you know, my graphics are going to suck from now on, unless you can help me. <laughs> Cause I, I can't, I can't fucking do it. <laughs> and, um, well, Mike is writing me a book. Mike, Mike is writing me a book. <laughs> so I'll, I'll read it. If he's mad, he's got a lot to say. So he might be misspelling here. the same word because of spell check and trying to, <laughs> that gets I me all the damn time. I don't know. My face still looks red. I guess it's because I got worked Oh, yeah. Out. Yeah, that My blood rushed to the front. It was, it was rushing. At least, at least it covers up me not shaving tonight. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Whereas I look like nitrile version of the monster. Not man. mad in the least bit. I think you are a crazy liberal, but hey, this world has all sorts of... Uh, <laughs> we do. You're welcome on my show anytime. And so is Bob. Beard LOL. <laughs> All right, Mike, I appreciate it. Uh, only one thing left to do <laughs> next week live on the Star Maker Bowling Show. You release the backstage. Yeah, I got to release the backstage tension That's between the grainy where, and black and white. Where, 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 Bob, where Bob got in my face and pushed me and then waited for Coltrane to break it up. <laughs> we'll have to, we'll have to uh, CC, you're all, you're all on top of that one. Uh, we'll have to. So, guys, we might be going forward without Bob from now on. I don't. He he looked mad when he left. He, he yeah. all but flipped me. He all but flipped me the bird in the green. He did wave by him, so, but it wasn't a nice. Bob. He looked mad the couple times he bounced off for a little bit, but yeah, that last time he. I didn't know he bounced off. For, oh, oh, you mean previous shows? Yeah, no, I mean like uh, earlier when he just went backstage for a little while and then came back. Oh, to- I, I didn't even know he did that. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, and, and thanks to Dan Limley, who donated $20 earlier today. He was the only person who's ever, there's only been three shows. And they're not really designed especially for donations, but he was kind enough to donate $20 earlier today to help us with the cause. Nice. And uh, I can't wait to see that video. Yeah, in eight months, I'll release the backstage Bob video of, <laughs> uh, of where he got in my face and pushed me, hoping to God Coltrane would break it up. So. You were behind the music style. <laughs> I'll see if I can get the young bucks to narrate it for me. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys are good at this shit. Yeah, you, y'all can turn a three-minute story into a twenty-seven-minute segment. <laughs> why, don't you, why don't y'all come in here and do this? Um, but now, for those of you that donated CC with a forty-dollar donation, let me go down the list and make sure I get everybody credited. Uh, Daniel Limley, the first ever donation of any kind, uh, and he donated twenty dollars this morning, so we appreciate that. Um. <laughs> Anonymous says that, that Bob is going to be over on that other show blowing dope and spreading conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, I'd, 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 I'd almost pay $20 to see that, just to oh, see I'm how that works out. <laughs> I, I, I might actually watch the show if, if that happens. <laughs> just, just to see how that planned out. Nine hours of it. Oh, well. Um, da, 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 da. Um, oh, I, I, was, I was supposed to check the donation. So give me one moment to try to do that. And uh, I'm going to trust your math here, Coltrane. Are you ready? Okay, Daniel Emily earlier today, $20. Okay. Uh, then a $25 donation from Michael Ryder, who says he's not mad in the least. I'm just a crazy liberal. I'll <laughs> take that. <laughs> Stupid Republican. <laughs> Is that as insulting as being a crazy liberal? Side with some people, Mike. Side with some people that like you. I like you. I battle for for black folks, 
Mexican folks, foreign folks of all colors and shades, transgenders, which there's one in my family, uh, two, to be honest with you, uh, gays. I mean, r- r- Lots of gays. I, ba- I, I battle for you. I, I don't I don't try to use you for a vote. I don't I, I don't get it. Um, I'm here for you, Mike. Uh, Ten dollars from um, hot Nicole. We need a picture, Nicole. Cold yeah. train's getting itchy. <laughs> uh, $40 from Good Chris. Thank you, Good Chris. $10 from TC from the NC. And Anonymous with $22. We'll just, just, just say $23. Okay. What's all that add up to? And then I'll have a, an idea of what we can do. $128. $128. Okay. Uh, well, we got one kid needing about $50 to $60 to get her ultrasound. We have another request for an ultrasound. We can't do both because then no one else gets any other medications. Um, uh, Chris, a uh, female Chris needs some medications, but I think we can get her some to hold her off for a little bit for $10. And uh, who else we got? Um, Chris. Oh, uh, we need to get the backpack and the shoes for little J9E. Um, but I got a problem. I can't send any of these people their money without Gcash and Bob has the only way to send the money on Gcash. So I'm going to let you write Bob, tell him that we have some people that need money on Gcash. And if he refuses to do it, he's welcome to do so. And I'll try and figure out another way. But if you will write him and just tell him if he will give me a total, uh, and if he wants to stay mad, he can stay mad. That's up to him. And I will PayPal him whatever money he sends to these people that need help, which he knows I'll do. I do it all the time. And uh, just ask him if he would forward the money because I have no other way to get him the money. And I told him we'd get it to him today. Sure. So, and if he says no, then fuck it, and we'll move on, and we'll try and find another way. Uh, right. I don't know. I don't know what that way will be, and it won't be today. It'll probably take a few days for me to try and figure out a way to do this. But uh, if you'll check in with him for me, see what you can do. I'll do it. And uh, and you know he's going to do what he wants to do. He's a grown man. He can figure it out. So. Um, so other than that, folks, I think we're about done. I think we've done all we can do. Thank you for coming in and helping us out, Coltrane. Thank you even more for not quitting on me because <laughs> I got a little wild up. Yeah, I grew up in the projects. I didn't mean to <laughs> say, I didn't say shut the fuck up. No, it, 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 I, I didn't think I was horribly. I, I thought I was pretty much what I normally was. Yeah, you were. You were Kenny. <laughs> I was. Well, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah. A crazy liberal. Crazy liberal is what I was. <laughs> So, and we got about 40 of you in here. I mean, if, if I stayed five minutes and begged for 40 more dollars, I'll stay five more minutes and see if two if two people donate 20 or four people donate 10. We'll stay five. Uh, what else were we going to cover that we didn't cover? Um, um, let's see. We did punk. Uh, Trump, Trump supposedly goes to trial. We covered punk. We covered the trial. They keep, somebody said, come and uh, talk more about wrestling. Okay, what about wrestling can we talk about? That was about? Billy. That was Billy. Um, Billy was talking. Billy says he's going to donate something next month. We'll, we'll look forward to that. Well, Why are all my fans going to go away for a little while and film a movie and come back for Cody? I don't know how that's going to look. <laughs> who's got, who's, uh, what movie's Rock working on? Do we know? Honestly, I don't know. Um, I don't know either. I'm just going off of what he said in the in the uh, the promo. But. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I am in they they do have me kind of hooked wondering what it is he handed him. I uh, my my son thinks he gave him beads, the the beads of the of the tribe. Oh, like the mono beads and that, and, and that he's putting him in charge of the bloodline, more or less. And oh. I kind of like that. I kind of like it kind of makes it. sense. I didn't either. I, I didn't either, but it kind of makes sense that that because it's something small, whatever he handed him was yeah. small. And he ended with don't break my heart again. And don't break my heart again. Yeah. So I I I I, I uh, align with that. I, I think there's a very good possibility that he gave him beads, and has uh, put him in charge of the bloodline. Yes. Put him in charge. You beat the bloodline, so you are the bloodline. So, no, so I don't know. So yeah, was Heyman was not back on night on Monday night either, was he? I didn't see him. I wonder Every if Heyman. I, I wonder if Heyman's going to take a little time off because he says, "When I come back, I will be bigger and stronger." So it kind of leads you to believe because there's really nobody for him to manage right now, is there? He's not aligned with anyone he's else. Doing a little something with Braun Breaker, like they they're entangled, but it's, he's not outright managing him. Oh, really? Yeah, really? yeah. You can tell okay. it's it's coming. Okay, okay. 
a Popeye movie. <laughs> uh, oh, for- Pop. Well, we've always needed a black Popeye. There you go. And um, I, 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 I can see it. So, well, but then again, one of the masterful Popeyes ever was Robin Williams. Who yeah. thought that would have worked? Who thought that would have worked? Only Rock won't need any fucking, you know, yeah, fake you arms. Artificial inflation. No, he's he's got all that covered. He's got all that covered. So, Billy, are uh, you being serious? Is it a Popeye movie? No, um, I don't think I don't think he can make that up. I think he's serious. Huh? I, I think he's you serious. Know, they are remaking all kinds of shit from the fifties and sixties all over again. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't think he can make that up. I really don't. Hmm. And now um, I'm picturing him in his little sailor outfit like that. Yeah, it just seems like something he'd do. <laughs> I think mean, he'd he look good. Uh, it's going to be horrible what he does to a can of spinach. You, you got to admit that. Oh, yeah. I heard him talk about it. Yeah, I, I got a feeling there's a possibility of yeah, that. Yeah, that, that sounds real. <laughs> now, is he going to do the skipping and the Popeye, Popeye-isms? And, <laughs> and uh, Popeye used to say something about weather that cracked me up. It was a very generic thing to say about the weather. And I've tried to look it up on Google, and I cannot find it. And I do remember once Popeye told Oliver, because uh, she, she thought Olive, she thought Popeye liked another woman. Well, geez, Olive Oil, I don't want a pretty woman. I want you. I have told that to a couple of, of jealous girlfriends before. Well, goddamn, Jenny, I don't want a pretty girlfriend. I want you. <laughs> I want I want a girl that no one else wants. <laughs> Will you calm down? <laughs> Who, who wants who wants your batshit crazy ass? Just me. I'm the only one. So, so what do you do? But and and now I no longer have Jenny. Maybe, maybe I maybe it was all in the approach. Maybe it was all. In the approach. So uh, did did you write Bob and ask him if he would help us transfer that money? Oh, not yet. I was going to do it after the show. Not yet. Do it after the show. All right. Yeah. Well, doesn't look like anybody's lining up to be a part of that. Um, uh, trying to help us raise that other 40 bucks. So good thing we weren't trying to raise all the money. Well, we'd almost paid the money for the phone. We was only $20 oh, short. Yeah. Um, I use that line too. Can you, do you use that one too? Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't want a pretty girl. I just want you. Um, I, I do remember Jenny asked me once, she says, Kenny, I don't have big boobs. I don't have a big butt. Uh, what is it that you love about me? And I told her, I said, well, you have two things I do love. And and, uh, and it is honestly the two things that I notice in a woman that get my attention. Jelly beans got it. Um, um, hang on here. Jelly beans got it. Uh, Chenny's got it. Um, poor little, poor little honey rose is a little thin, but she does have one of the things. Um, a lot of our girls that we show. Uh, 18 and up, of course. And I told her, I said, she said, well, I don't have big boobs and I don't have a big butt. What do you like about me? What, what do you love about me the most? And I said, the two, I said, the two things you have that I love is you got pretty eyes and sexy thighs. Mm-hmm. And, and those are the two things that catch my attention. And if a girl has pretty eyes and sexy thighs, I don't really pay that much of attention to the other. Uh, I know other men that do pay heavy attention to the other two things. And, and that's what they want their women to have. And, yeah, I'm uh, nice. yeah, I'm a thighs and eyes guy. Thighs and eyes. There you go. So, and uh, I remember Jelly Bean when she was doing a lot of working out and doing a lot of housework and everything. She sent me the picture of her in those tight black shorts, and she says, "Kenny, I'm looking like an Amazona." I said, "I can't argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> can't argue with it. If there's ever an Amazona, there, there it is, right there." So, and uh, but, but uh, I think most of the Filipino girls that because. Uh, there was a song once that, that spoke about Asian eyes. I, I can't remember what song it was. There, there, there's the Betty Davis eyes that Kim mm-hmm. Carnes did. And there's another song that talks about Asian eyes. There's Jelly Bean right there. And um, and uh, there's always been something about Asian girls' eyes, especially Korean girls, Filipino girls, Japanese girls, mm-hmm. some, some Chinese girls. There's something about their eyes I absolutely love. And, and I've always told, even when I was in high school, I talked about how much I love people that were different than me. Oh. So originally that was black girls. Well, we mm-hmm. didn't have a lot of, we had one Asian girl. Her name was Helena Turner. And, um, and she was a year or two uh, older than me. So I never even dreamed of hitting on her or anything. 
Uh, so when a black girl acted like she was remotely interested in me, well, Oldham County was a very racist County. They never dreamed a white man would take a chance to go out with them. And I didn't give a fuck. You know, I'd already made my decision long before. I don't, I don't give a fuck what you people think. If I like somebody, I, I, I was friends with the Iranian girl. And that was during the Iran, that was during the Iran Contra shit. The hostage shit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, she didn't do it. She's here to get away from that shit. She's here to get a fucking education. Her and her parents, why, why are we judging them? You know, they didn't do it. Let's judge the people that did it, not those that didn't. They're 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 like you. They don't want to be a part of it. So mm -hmm. I was friends with her and dared anybody to fuck with her. Um, but no, I've always liked people different than me. And uh, I'm that way too. Yeah. And you don't want uh, you too homogenized. I, I had I had a Russian girlfriend for a brief period of time. Oh, well, a few months. Um, and uh, that that was uh, unique. Uh, there's a uh, Cuban girl that works at the Waffle House. It's very cute, but she's different. She, she's not like other girls. Hmm. Uh, but but the, her cousin works there with her. She's more Americanized. So it's the, the pure, and, and she's a, a light-skinned Cuban. Very tall, very blonde. Ass and thighs and eyes for days. Ooh. And she, she she's a very and claims she doesn't have a boyfriend as well. I can't believe you working here all day and all the horn <laughs> yeah. and black men, Asian men, Cuban men that come in. I can't believe you're still single. I said I'm assuming it's because you want to be. <clears throat> and uh, and as I think she's in her early to mid twenties, if I had to guess. Came here on her own, hooked up with another Cuban girl and shared a place with her. And she's trying to get her visa and everything. So. Um, well, I did everything I could to get that other 20 to 40 bucks, and it didn't happen, Cold Train. I did what I could. Told a good story and everything. Yeah. Got in a fight with Bob. Bob quit. <laughs> and, uh, oh, well. See what y'all did? See what you did, Michigan Mike? See you. <laughs> <laughs> you did it with your mouth, Bo, when you wouldn't shut up. Well, I think we've established that seven in 2007. I think we established that I was not going to shut up. <laughs> so, uh, Coltrane, if you would write me and let me know if he's going to help transfer the money or not, and sure. if he does, we'll figure something out. Okay. Uh, Filipinos are going to have to figure out a way to get a PayPal account, I guess, because Bob might have took his ball and went home. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, like I said, I invited him back. I can't do anything more than that. He's grown man. Um, until well, uh, I was about to wrap the microphone up for the sign of the show off. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I plan to be back here Saturday night, 9.35 p.m. Uh, if Bob shows up, that's up to him. If he doesn't, hopefully the coal train will come in here and help me out. And uh, hate to leave uh, close to 40 of you uh, high and dry, but the donations have dried up, and so have I, because I need a nap real bad. So until Saturday night, 9.35 p.m., assuming I get back in, in town in time. I'm supposed to be out of town for a while that day. If I get back in time, there will be a show. If there's not, and you don't see us uh, with a show scheduled, then you'll know there ain't going to be one. <laughs> It'll, be easy. It'll be easy enough to figure out. If I schedule a show, come back and watch us. And if I don't, we'll see you Tuesday night, maybe a.m. Bowling Tuesday morning if I feel up to it. Uh, but thanks, everybody, for dropping in. Thanks to everybody who did donate. Those of you that have pledged something in the future, we appreciate that as well. And uh, for maybe the last time for Bob Hazelwood, for the returning cold train, boy, you came back just in time. Yeah, I'm telling can you, do you. Graphics, can you do graphics like that? Because I might be fucked if you can't. Uh, I can do some of those, yeah. Those are some good-looking graphics. Well, thank you for the graphics, Bob. If this was your parting gift, he might come back and take them back. I don't know. <laughs> he might take his graphics back. Come back in the office is bare. <laughs> uh, the office might be bare. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, well, I hope not. So, I uh, hope everything works out. So, Bob, if it helps, I'm sorry I made you mad. I, I don't I don't know what else to do. You know who I am and what I am, especially when it comes to fucking politics. So, Michigan Mike ain't mad at me. He's the one that got all the heat. He's not mad. He's the one that got all the heat. Oh, well. Oh, well. Until Tuesday night, folks, more than likely. We'll see about Saturday. But eventually, I'm Kenny the Star Maker Rowan for Bob Hazelwood. <laughs> for the cold drain. For Michigan Mike, I did say good day. <laughs>